Hi there. I'm back with more weird stuff. And again, another one. The third one, Master Universe. Weird stuff that I collected in over the years of buying collections of just loose figures. Now, I'm in my toy room. It's early November. It's cold. I'm trying to have a heater on. That's why you're hearing a funny noise. My heater. It's a portable heater. Okay. This is called Master Universe War and Conquer Giant Card Game, which came out in. Hold on, please. 1983. Here's a side view. The other side view. Freeze it if you want to we'll look at the stuff. There's the back, it tells you how to, to play the game. Instruction. Now inside, this is the front view. See He-Man in the front with the, all the way in the back you have uh, a Castle Grace card like looking really, really small. The cards inside are beautiful. I gotta admit that. So, the cards you get. Skeletor. It's purple. You have number 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. That's the front, all genetic, just the number the different. That's the back. That's skeleton. I really like the picture. Beautiful. Green, you get Tila. And again, 1 to 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Very beautiful picture of Tila. It says Mattel Incorporated in 1983 on the opposite side. After Tila, you have He-Man, is in red. You only made four characters in this game, and um, they they never made other characters. You have He-Man, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And the last character they made is Man-at-Arms. Again with the numbers 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Yes, it's, it's learn your numbers with Plastic Junkie Dave. That's right. Now, the objects of this game, which I'm going to read. I'm going to tell you right now. I'll take off my glass and read. Okay. War. 2 to, two to 4 players ages 5 to 12. The dealer ships, shuffles the cards and distributes them face down to each player. Then either deck should be used. The entire deck should be used, sorry. Some players may not have extra cards. Each player, without looking at his or her cards, plays their face down in a pile. To begin the game, each player in a turn places its top card face up in the center of the table. The player with the highest number card wins at the all the cards from the center of the table and adds them face down to the bottom of his pile. He then begins a new round playing the top card from his pile. If two or more players turn up cards of equal value and, and they are the highest cards played, war is declared. Each player playing a match playing each player hold on very small writing each player playing a matching high card places one additional card face down and a second card face up the player whose second face up card is the highest wins all the cards played if these cards are also of equal value players place two additional cards face down and a third face off in and determination determinates a winner. When a player loses all his cards, he is out of the game. Pay 
play, cl play continues until a all but one player is out of cards. The winner of the game is the, the player holding all the cards. And that's how you play war. Conquer. The object of the of the of the play of the play is this is a little bit longer. Is of uh, is to avoid taking cards with points. Does the 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 deck the deck. Anyways, let's not read the second one. It's a little bit longer. But I'll leave it there. You can read it yourself. So, Plastic Junkie out. I didn't want you to read the second one because it's, it's getting too long. So, those those are the two games you could play with these cards. It's different than what I collected. Do I like these weird things? I do because they're different. Value of this, I would say, between 10 and $20. It all depends on the condition of the things because these little things, a lot of kids, when they get them as gifts, they don't play with them. What they do is they put them aside. They rather play with the toys. Stay plastic, stay 80s, collect for life, and enjoy hunting weird things with Plastic Junkie.